For this trick I need a shuffle deck of playing cards so I will hand it over to spectator to shuffle it and cut it in half like this. From this pile the spectator will select one card, I will not look at it, I will just quickly show you on the camera so I hope you can see it clearly and that you will remember it. Now I will square the deck and I will take the uh, selected card and place it on top and I will let the spectator to cut the cards so the selection is lost somewhere in the deck. There is one thing I have to tell you, there are no duplicate cards in the deck. The deck is uh, really normal and everything should be clear also to you. Okay, good. So please shuffle the cards one more time. And we are almost finished. I just need to select few candidates for our experiment. So um, um, let's say no. Yeah, this one. Okay. Um, maybe this one as well. And I will select two more. So um, this one and uh, the last one, it's a tough decision, difficult to decide, but I will select this one. Okay, so now we have uh, four candidates and I think one of them is your selected card, but I'm not sure which one is it. I need your help to find it. So please touch any two cards. Those two? Okay, I will remove them. And now please select or touch one card. This one? Are you sure? Not this one? Okay, we will stay with this card. So I will remove that card and I will show you that the cards that were not selected are 10, 6 and Queen. And the card that is left here is 3 of clubs. Is it your card? So this trick is really easy to do and uh, completely impromptu so you don't need any setup and the deck can be shuffled by spectator. Now the spectator will cut the cards and from this pile he or she will select one card so let's say in this case it's four of clubs. I will now square up the deck and when I am squaring it I will secretly look for a moment what the bottom card is so in this case it would be eight of clubs. So Spectator will remember four of clubs, I am remembering eight of clubs. Now the spectator will uh, return the card back into the deck on the top and cut the cards. Now you will need to spread out the cards and uh, make some story about it and you will secretly look for your indicator card. So I am looking for eight of clubs and now I am sure that this card over here must be the spectator's card. So I will remember it. Now I will finish the spread and now we are set to go because we know uh, what the selection was. The deck can be shuffled and cut again by the spectator if he or she wants. Now you will select uh, four candidates and one of them will be the spectator's card. So it is this one, the four of clubs, and the three other candidates are completely random. So I will select this, this, and for example, this one. Okay, now I can get rid of the rest of the deck. I will not need it. And I need to remember where I put the selection that was made by a spectator. So in this case, it is here. Now you will remember the position and will ask the spectator to touch any two cards. It is a free choice, so they can touch those two cards. If this is the case, I will remove these two cards. If, for example, they will select those two cards, I will remove these two cards. So you see the idea. Uh, in every situation you need to keep this card uh, on the table and it needs to be the last one that will be selected. So for example, spectator will touch those two cards, I will remove this. And now we have two cards left, no matter what they will select, I will always remove this card. So for example, spectator touch this one, I'm removing the card. I will show that uh, the 
cards that were not selected are 9, 10 and king and the last card that left on the table is their selection. So this was the trick, I hope you liked it. If yes, please give a thumbs up and thank you for attention. See you next time.